Hello guys, welcome to my new video. This time I have Tara with me to show you how it's done. On today's lesson, I will teach you how to create a free hit mechanism with circuits. As usual on your watch, go to home, then backpack and bring out your maker pen. Now welcome to my quest where I show you what exactly I mean. Let's grab the axe and hit the rock three times in a row, like this. One, two, three. See how it opens the door? Now Tara, let's go back to our workshop now. This is a quick and easy mechanism. Grab your maker pen and we're going to create an object what we will hit with. I choose the cube again as always, because why not? When you go to swatches, you can choose from saved colors and material or you can choose your own on the right. Take the snapping off for easy manipulation. Now let's configure our object. Make sure the object is environmental and grabbable. Let's bring out the chips for our circuits now. The first one will be the trigger volume, where the object has to enter three times for the animation to work. Now let's add the text to the object and the trigger volume so they can recognize each other. By pressing on the object and configure on the maker pen, you can add text easily. Remember, the trigger volume has to filter by tag you gave to the object, so don't go around and give some other random name to it. Now, the rest of the circuits. Bring out an int variable. that you need to configure and change its name to health, for example. This will recognize how many hits the trigger volume had. Our next one is add, that adds one after every hit until it reaches three hits. Also, let's introduce the equal chip too, where we set the maximum number of hits needed to trigger the animation. Now we connect everything. Now configure the button value and enter 1. Now configure the equals button value and enter 3 that represents the 3 hits.
Next we grab the if chip which we connect the condition and the trigger volume to. Let's not forget our lovely animation controller. Lastly, we need something to create the animation with, so when the bumble hits the trigger volume, the ball will go up and down. Just an example. Connect the object to the top of the animation controller and edit the animation chip to add keyframes. Press add to add the keyframes and you can tell the animation controller what you want the object to do. Put the animation back to the first keyframe, then press done. Now click configure and edit the controller to be in a ping pong mode if you want the object to go up and down or side to side, for example. Lastly, let's configure our bamboo to make sure that it can be modified with circuits. And the moment of truth. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.